Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 4 of my Billionaire Minecraft series, where I will collect 1 billion iron ingots, gold ingots, diamonds, and emeralds using the All the Mods 6 mod pack in Modern Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I am going to build a jetpack and go to the nether, as well as build the infrastructure that I need to charge that jetpack. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to build is called the energetic infuser and that will allow me to actually charge the the uh, jetpack that I'm about to make and the, um, the flux capacitor that I'm going to make with it as well. And so this is the recipe here and that requires electrum. Electrum is pretty easily made by combining gold and silver into a uh, smelter or another there are other methods of making electrum as well it's just basically a combination of gold and silver so what i'm going to do is throw that in there and while that's cooking i'm actually going to grab some more lava i have some lava nearby so i'm going to grab some of that uh because my smelter is running low on lava and i want to go to the nether because the nether allows me to access uh several things that i don't have like cobalt for even better tools from tinker's construct as well as things like glowstone and just uh netherite uh yeah just basically all the different things in the nether blaze rods uh nether wart stuff like that uh mainly i'm interested in the cobalt for today and that's probably what i'm going to grab Let's see, so I have lots of Electrum. I'm just gonna pour out an entire block of it and then I can just uh, revert those to ingots. And that's gonna be super nice. So my farm is growing nicely. I have replanted things. I have two rows of potatoes, two rows of wheat seeds and two rows uh, or one row of carrots. Sorry about that. So what we can do here is we can just make this into Electrum ingots. And that's going to be more than the three Electrum ingots that I require for this recipe. So let's go ahead and get to my crafting table and go ahead and make this. So I need three of these. So let's make three of those. And then I need a block of redstone and I just need one block, not a bunch of blocks. And then I can make this energetic infuser. And what it should be allow me to do is charge items. So what I need to do is I need to hook this up to my power supply. And just to make this look nice, I'm gonna kind of take a um, S bend here. I do have plenty of basic universal conduit. At this point, I can make steel pretty easily with uh, the two metallurgic infusers I built in the last episode. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Uh, I do need to get this going. And in fact, I probably wanna turn this off to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and set that to ignored or inverted. Let's set it to inverted. I think these machines should stay off. I just don't want them to take energy from that. So let me throw some coal into here. Okay, so I was thinking that if I invert, no, maybe it just needs to be set to normal. Yeah, it just needs to be set to normal. And basically these machines will require a redstone signal to run. So they're not gonna run. This is gaining power uh, very slowly, as you can see, because this dynamo is not very effective at, I think it makes something like 40 RF per tick, which is not particularly amazing, but you know, uh, gotta start somewhere, and this is where I started. So let me go ahead and make this look nice again. And I dug straight down there, which was probably not the smartest thing, but got away with it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to build a flux capacitor so I can throw it in here and start to charge it. At least that's the plan. I hope that's what this machine does. Um, and so I need to look at that recipe real fast. Oh, and I can't spell apparently. So the flux capacitor is a little uh, trinket from the thermal series and it's made pretty basically. So let's run over here to our crafting table and go ahead and we need to make one of these and then I should be able to make this. So this flex capacitor should be able to draw charge from this machine and it is, so that's fantastic. And now I need to focus on making a jetpack. So there's a mod in this mod pack, I believe called like simply jetpacks and it provides uh, different tier jetpacks that use energy to fly rather than like a fuel. So we're gonna start out with the wooden jetpack and it does require some things. I should have most of the ingredients that I need with me. 
So I think I want to make up to the silver jetpack. I could do like the electrum jetpack if I really wanted to, but I think uh, the silver jetpack will be more than enough, I believe. So to get to this tier, uh, if we look at the recipes, uh, the recipes are pretty the samey. Um, the only difference is that the base level jetpack needs these leather straps. So let's go ahead and make the leather straps there. And then the rest of the recipes need a lot of these basic coils. Uh, I believe I'm going to need 33 of these. So let's go ahead and make some sticks here. Um, yeah, and I just need sticks. So if I do a recipe... And actually, I need one more stick. Do I have another stick laying around? I was going to say, I bet I have another stick laying around. So then I just need, yeah, 33 of those. So that's a lot of iron, a lot of redstone. But I have been doing quite a bit of mining between episodes. So that's how I have enough of everything. Um, and now I need to make these wood energy cells. And I believe I need to make five of those. Because three for the wood capacitor. And then one for each of the thrusters. So let's go ahead and make five of these guys. Um, and I'm not actually clicked into this. So let's see here. And I actually need to grab some more wood, but that's fine. So there's four of those. And now let's, and I need yet more wood. So you know what? Might as well just grab a decent amount. And now we should be able to make the rest of this. So I need one wood capacitor. I need uh, two wooden thrusters, which means I need, actually, I need two furnaces, not just one. And I think I'm going to need even more furnaces um, later on. So I need to make two of these, and I only grabbed one. That was dumb. So let's see here. That is the wooden jetpack, so that's cool. Now let's upgrade this bad boy to the stone jetpack. And so once again, I need to make uh, five of these stone batteries. And I just need five of them, so let's not overdo it there. And then we need two more furnaces. And okay, so that will allow me to make two of these. And then I need to make one of these. And then let's see here, I should be able to make one of those. So that's fantastic. Now let's do the silver next. I should have some silver over here. I didn't have it made just quite yet, but it should be. Um, I believe that's enough. I hope that's enough. If it's not, then I can just deal with not having a silver jetpack. So let's go ahead and make two more furnaces because I know that I need those. And then I need to make uh, five of these. The good thing about these recipes are th that they're basically the same, just with higher tier materials and then higher tier materials as you go down. So it's pretty easy to remember how to do things. Uh, I need two of these as far as numbers wise, and I need one of these, and then I should be able to make this silver jetpack. So that's cool. As of right now, it has no charge, but uh, that's what we're doing over here. We're getting this flux capacitor. And now I need to I need to change the mode, and I forget which button it is to actually do that. Um, and actually, I'm probably going to have to go here to controls. It is one of the thermal mods, so let's look for that. It should be everything is alph alphabetical order for the most part. So let's go down here. Okay, so uh, it might be COFH. Yes, it's right here. So cycle mode is the five key. So let's see here. I do need to change the mode. Okay, so mode. I think all items will work. So it is charging my jetpack right now and it has charged it with everything I had, which is not much. So what we do with the jetpack is we put it on and I apparently need to do the configs for that mod as well so i believe it's called simply jetpacks so let's come down here and see if it is somewhere down here um you know what maybe it's not simply jetpacks it's iron jetpacks okay so cool uh let's look for the iron jetpacks now uh, iron jetpacks okay so 
toggle engine. It's just the V key, but let's change that because it looks like it's bound with something else. So let's go with one. And can we do two for the hover mode? So cool. So one thing I do need to be careful about is how much energy I am using. So I might as well just go ahead and charge this while I can. But if I hit the one key, I should be able to fly. And that, okay, so 115 down to 110. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time to fly, but it does, it will help me a little bit when I go to the nether. So let's get rid of my ingots and let's get rid of the things that I don't need. And then I want to go to the nether and just poke around for just a little bit. It won't be for long, um, but it'll be nice and useful to see that I can travel in the nether. So let's... Um, trying to remember where I need to put everything because I like to keep things, um, my chaos semi-organized here. Uh, let's just throw this in here. Sure, whatever. Uh, it does look like it's dark outside. Let's go ahead and take a snooze and then I need to set up my nether portal. I do want to do it outside somewhere. In fact, I might do it by the meteorite just because that seems like a good location for it. Um, in my weird opinion. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot. Yeah, you can you can really get going with these jetpacks. Uh, so if you, if you run and you jump like at the same time, nah, I can't get it right. You can go really, really fast. Um, so let's... And I didn't grab my capacitor, did I? Yeah, I should go back and grab my capacitor because it does have a decent amount more charge than the jetpack itself. Um, okay, I might as well just deplete the capacitor and then just stick it back in and then leave. Uh, that way I can charge while I'm gone. And this still has a decent amount of coal, so that's good. Okay, so I need to be super careful not to overdo it flying in the nether. But being able to fly in the nether is super, super valuable. It just makes things a whole lot safer. Uh, there's a skeleton. Uh, so let's go a little bit away from him. Uh, this will do. So let's go ahead and set this up here. And the cool thing is, because I can fly, I can uh, make this kind of easy here. Okay, cool. And I'm really not, I'm really trying to not overdo it with the flying right now, because I don't have very much energy. It's really not much at all. So let's go to the nether, maybe try to get some cobalt if I can. Uh, I'm not sure if I need higher tier tools or not. Because cobalt used to have kind of its own uh, tier. Okay, so there's like a ghost thing. That's cool. Uh, Crimson iron from the silent gear mod is pretty valuable, but I'm not here for that. I did not mean to fly like that. I have a really bad habit of when I'm in the nether of flying a lot, and I really need to be careful not to do that. So I should mark this on my minimap. Um, so let's go ahead and do that if I can. Um, whatever is over there, I don't like it. Okay, I really hope I'm not about to be attacked. So I set up a waypoint right there. Um, okay, now I can see it. So let's take a look. I have 264,000. So let's get a little bit of this nether quartz. Uh, because that's pretty valuable. And then maybe try... I still want to find a little bit of cobalt. I would like to uh, improve my tools that I have a little bit if I can. But I might as well grab this nether quartz if it's just available right here. Just waiting for me, so... Yeah. And let me quickly look at what levels the cobalt spawns. Because it should tell me. Okay, it doesn't tell me. Um, some of the mods, they actually do tell you the, the white levels. And I'm not sure if it is restricted to certain white levels. Although that might be cobalt right there. 
And I'm not 100% sure that I can mine it. Okay, cool. In the past, it was a higher tier, but apparently not anymore. So that's nice to have a little bit of cobalt. I'd like to have more than just one block, which will equal uh, two ingots once I melt it down. There is a lot of netherrack here. Or not netherrack, uh, sorry. There's always a lot of netherrack in the nether. It's a dumb statement. Um, there's a lot of nether quartz here, is what I meant to say. So I might as well grab that. Uh, let's use my vein miner, see if I can't get kind of the rest of this. Cool, that worked out well. Um, oh, more cobalt, fantastic. So I might as well just use my vein miner tool to see if there's more. Um, it is also made of bronze. And I'm not sure how much of this I'd like to collect. Uh, let's say like, okay, so that's cool. Why are you laughing at me? Don't know if uh, you heard that, but that was the, I don't know, uh, an effect from uh, one of the mods. And I'm not entirely sure which one. So I'd like maybe a little bit more cobalt. Um, I saw glowstone, but I'm not going to go and get that glowstone because of where it's at. It's kind of precarious and I don't have very much charge on my jetpack and I'm burning through my charge on my jetpack. Actually, I've not done too bad. So let's go over here just a little bit more. And if there's not something pretty close, I might just go back. I do have uh, five in that. That'll be enough for a little something, not not a lot, but. And it does look like there's a good supplies of nether quartz around. I won't have to really dig too hard to find that. Um, there's something over there and I don't like that, that monster right there. Um, I have no idea what that is. It kind of scares me. Also, I also have no idea what that structure is there. Yeah, there have been uh, several mods added since I've last pay played this mod pack, which was, I don't know, five, six months ago. Uh, I do see some more cobalt over here. So I would, and there's cobalt there too. Okay, so there's two cobalt, there's three cobalt over here. So that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab it. I don't see anything on my mini map that's coming after me. So like I'm just, I don't know. It seems like the first time I get to the nether, I'm always just kind of like uh, a little bit scared, a little bit tepid. And then once I go there more and more, I kind of get more more comfortable with going to the nether as I kind of yeah go there more and more. So let's see here. Okay, so that was a lot of cobalt right there. Uh, I'm not sure how many. What? Wow, that was that was a lot. So that's cool. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna head back. I think. So um, I might as well just fly. I have plenty of charge at this point. Don't have very far to go either. So that is a pretty successful trip to the Nether. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Got some cobalt. I am going to melt some of it down. And I might even make an alloy with it real quick and replace one of my tool parts because that is something that you can do with Tinker's Construct unless they've changed it. And that's a really nice thing part about Tinker's Construct. So let's, I think there is a cobalt alloy, alloy that I might want to use. Let's step inside before I get murdered by something. But uh, let's look at the large plate. Um... And it starts with like an H. This right here. So how do I make this? Uh, the mining speed is 8. What's the mining speed on just cobalt? 7.5. Yeah, okay. So this is this is an alloy I do want to make. So I need obsidian, cobalt, and copper. So let's grab some copper ore. If I have any copper ore. I don't have copper ore, so I can just use copper ingots. Let's use four of these, one of these, and then, oh, I'm gonna need more than that, aren't I? And then I need, what, one or two obsidian. I can't honestly remember. Actually, it's, okay, it's one block. So if I throw in two blocks of obsidian, 
that should be enough, I think. So I, I anticipate the cobalt and the obsidian to take the longest to melt down. So let's throw those in first and then the copper. Uh, do I have any copper in here? I don't. So let's go ahead and throw this cobalt over here into my tinker's chest as well as my obsidian, I guess. Um, and let's throw this in there as well. This can kind of be my nether chest. So my... Okay, so we got the cobalt down. We got the copper down. Okay, so why is this not combining? Is there a reason why this is not combining? Because I don't... Okay, so it actually, this needs to be hotter is what the problem is. I'm using lava, and I need to be using soul lava or blazing blood. So soul lava can be found... And how do I even make blazing blood? Okay, so that's interesting. So soul lava can be found in the nether, and I might as well go back and try to find some real fast. Uh, I do have buckets on me. Yeah, let's do it. So I would really like to replace this. Uh, one of the, my tool parts. It, it will be a, a decent upgrade over just straight bronze. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some digging. And hopefully I find some soul lava relative, relatively quickly. Um, wait, is that cobalt? Right by the portal and I didn't see it. Wow. Um, I'm guessing everyone else who watched this video saw it and thought I was dumb. Uh, that's okay though. So that's four more cobalt. That's pretty fantastic. So I'm just going to dig, I think, straight. Oh, shoot. I think I'm mistaken where to find soul lava. Um, let me look it up. I don't think this is going to help me at all. Yeah, I... I feel like it's in the nether somewhere, but I don't remember. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig for a while. And I'm, I can do that off camera. I'm gonna, going to use my hammer. And so I'll be able to plow through this netherrack pretty quick. Um, if I find Solava, I will be right back. And if I don't, I will be right back anyways without my uh, upgrade to my sledgehammer. So unfortunately I couldn't find any soul lava and I did run through all of the durability on my sledgehammer but I can still upgrade my hammer by throwing in some cobalt and making a plate out of that. So one thing I do need to do first is pour out a block of bronze because I do need more room in my smeltery. As you can see it's pretty full or it was pretty full. So as that cobalt is melting down I'm going to pour out a block of bronze and I'm going to go ahead and repair my sledgehammer. So let's see here that should be done. So let's get the cobalt. Let's uh, make a plate here in a second. Uh, let me pull out more bronze and now I can go ahead and fix my hammer by using this anvil. In the process to fix these things, I'm not sure if I've shown it yet in the series, it's just basically uh, have ingots of the, I'm not sure if it's the head or if it's any of the uh, plate materials as well can be used, but yeah. Um, you just, you just use the material of the head and or the plates or the other, uh, depending on what tool you have, obviously, uh, one of the major components here. And you should be able to repair your weapons and your tools. So um, I, I did put another chest over here and I just put some nether stuff in it. So what I need to do now is I need to grab my chest. I need to get a cast. I need to make a plate of cobalt so let's go ahead and set that up so we have cobalt in the bottom let's go ahead and cast a plate and we should be able to add this to our sledgehammer okay so i'm not sure if it matters where i put it Okay, yeah, I can I can uh, change it which side it's on. So um, if we look at the bronze plate and the cobalt plate, I get a little added durability. I also get a little added mining speed as well as a little added attack damage. So um, this is a pretty good upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. 
and the durability goes up very, very marginally. But you know what? It does improve my hammer, so that's cool. So I think that's a pretty good wrapping up point for today. In today's episode, I built a jetpack. I built a machine that allows me to charge that jetpack, and the uh, name of it is escaping me, the energetic infuser, as well as this capacitor here, which is basically I built it to charge my jetpack. So that's going to be very cool. Having a jetpack is super nice for exploring. Um, in the future, I'm going to be searching for meteorites. Uh, I know where two of them are, but I don't know where any of the other ones are. And having a jetpack will allow me to quickly search for those. And so that's super nice. And I also made a quick trip to the nether, got some cobalt, upgraded my hammer. So in between episodes, once again, I'm going to be doing some mining. And other than that, I'll just be holding tight and I'll... Not sure what I'll be doing in the next episode, but you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to drop a like down below. If there's anything I could have done better or differently, just let me know in the comments down below as I try to read all the comments. If you enjoy large-scale automation, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, as that's typically what I do. I know, obviously, I'm pretty early on in the series, so I haven't really got to the large-scale part of the automation, but I have already built a little bit of automation. So anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 8, and I will see you next time.